Hey guys, Technivers here. This is my ANET ET4, and you know for being a budget printer, it's got some additional bells and whistles that most of these other cheap end printers don't really have. So today we're going to take a look at one of the features that comes built in stock to this bad boy, and that feature is the filament runout sensor. Now it's easy to add a filament runout sensor to most printers, but this one comes built in, and as I said, this is a budget printer costs around $200, $230, so for it to come with that already is pretty amazing. Let's take a look at it. Now, obviously, I am going to show you the actual mechanism itself that is the filament runout sensor, but a lot of people ask, how does the filament runout sensor work, and what is it? So basically, the component that you're talking about is just one of these. Uh, it's an end stop or a, a switch that controls an on or off basically. So um, this being used as the end stop, when the X carriage comes over and hits it, it is depressed and you can hear a loud clicking. So um, this lets it know it's reached the end of the, the, the motor there. Um, it's basically either on or off. Basically what a filament runout sensor is, is one of these in a chamber that's about as wide as the filament. And as the filament presses through, it pushes that lever down. Now. When the filament runs out and passes the lever because the extruder is pulling it, the button pops back out and the sensor goes to its other position. So say this is true, um, that the button is depressed and now it's false. When the computer gets that signal, it knows you're out of filament. So it's a very, very simple solution uh, to a problem and they are very, very common. What is not common is for them to come on a stock machine that's this cheap so let's go around to the back of the printer and take a quick look at the actual sensor itself. And here we have the actual filament runout detector itself. It is right here. As you can see, it is a printed part. ANET is notorious for putting printed parts on their printers. This printer here actually only has two that I found, which in my opinion is a good thing. I like that it's a little bit more solid built than most of their printers. But you can see it has these two machine screws in the top, which are actually holding another one of these limit switches. And that is facing this way. So when I feed it through, it depresses that lever. And then when the end of the filament feeds through the filament sensor and gets to here, that lever will unpress or um, release and basically trigger the filament runout sensor, which will cause the machine to pause. And in that manner, you can save a lot of filament on failed prints. You can reuse spools, use the ends of spools, and it will stop when it runs out, and then you can switch to the next spool, which will save you a lot of headaches in the long run, and it's just an awesome addition to a stock printer. Normally, uh, it, it is a very simple thing to add to most 3D printers, and if you don't have one, I highly recommend it. It will keep you from having to monitor the machine constantly, and as I said, save you from a few failed prints because of runouts. Now, the one thing the runout detection sensor won't help with is a knot in the spool. So if you don't properly maintain your spools and prevent them from weaving under other lines and getting knots in them, uh, this sensor is not going to help you. It actually has to run out of filament in order to detect a filament error. But it is a very nice addition, and I am glad that it came with this machine, especially at such a budget price. And that's basically the gist of it. It's a very simple piece of equipment that works very, very well and will save you frustration, monitoring time, and uh, probably a more than a couple failed prints over your career of 3D printing. So, um, so far, so great. This machine's been running really well. I am enjoying it. Um, it is an ANET, take that as you will, but uh, it is also super duper quiet, and we will talk about that in another one of the future videos. Don't forget to hit like down below, smash that subscribe button, return, return, return to the channel as often as possible. I post videos all the time, so if by chance you don't have notifications turned on, you're going to want to stop by and check it out, or at least make sure you're keeping an eye on your subscription feed to see what's coming next because we have a lot of stuff coming out uh, from IC3D, Kodak, 3DX Tech. I got a bunch more uh, printer reviews to do and things like that. So uh, if you're liking what you see, stick around. Don't forget, subscribe. Technivorous out. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters.
If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.